welcome to the LIDOS Pilot Web. LIDOS Flight Service has heard the request from many airspace users for updated information and guidance on the ICAO flight plan filing. This video is meant to serve as an informational and detail-oriented overview of the ICAO flight plan form. The FAA will soon require users to file ICAO formatted flight plans for all flights. The FAA provides guidance on ICAO flight plan filing in the Aeronautical Information Manual, or AIM, under Chapter 5, Paragraph 519. Additional guidance is also available through the FAA Flight Service website. Both links are located in the video description below. The LIDOS Pilot Web ICAO Flight Plan form is fully FAA and ICAO compliant. This, combined with the Help Dialogues, Aircraft Equipment, and Airport Identifier search windows, make the Pilot Web ICAO Flight Plan form a quick, easy, and effective way to familiarize and file the ICAO flight plan. To file ICAO flight plans utilizing the Pilot Web, first sign in with your login information. Once logged in from the Pilot dashboard on the top menu bar, select Flight Planning and Briefing. This will open the flight planning page for domestic and ICAO flight planning. Ensure the ICAO flight plan form is selected from the top right of the page. The ICAO flight plan form consists of three areas. The top of the flight plan form contains past and favorite stored flight plan data. This stored flight plan data can be very useful in future flight plan filing. When an ICAO flight plan form has been completely filled out, the flight plan and all of its information may be saved as a favorite flight plan. To save this flight plan as a favorite, simply click the Save as Favorite button above the flight plan form after the flight plan is complete. The middle of the form is where the flight plan data is entered and advanced services may be established if not already done. The bottom of the form contains all action and pre-flight briefing buttons. Note, if a flight plan is entered in domestic format or a favorite flight plan already exists in domestic format and then switched to ICAO format, fields that are shared will be copied over. For convenience, you may store your aircraft-specific flight plan details such as aircraft equipment, surveillance equipment, cruising speed, supplemental information, and other information remarks in your user profile. To do this, from the top menu bar, select Account, then Aircraft. This will open the Aircraft tab of your user settings. From here, select the Aircraft of Interest. Next, select Edit. Within the Aircraft Information section, you may store the specific ICAO information for that aircraft. Once these entries are saved, this information will auto-populate into the required flight plan fields upon future use. The ICAO flight plan form and the domestic flight plan form are different. However, they do contain many of the same fields. The ICAO flight plan is a more detailed flight plan than that of the domestic flight plan. Let's now go through each field of the ICAO flight plan to better understand what is required. Aircraft ID. Aircraft ID must always be formatted as one letter, followed by one to six alphanumeric characters. Approved call signs and flight identifiers may also be entered here, such as United 6154 or UA 6154. Flight rule. Within the ICAO flight plan, this may be VFR, IFR, YFR, or ZFR. IFR and VFR are understood, however, YFR and ZFR know the following. YFR is for flights beginning under IFR flight rules, followed by one or more changes in flight rules. ZFR is for flights beginning under VFR flight rules, then followed by one or more changes in flight rules. For both YFR and ZFR, the point where the flight rules change must be noted in the route of flight. This point of change determines when the flight plan will be sent to ATC as appropriate. Flight type. This field is optional but recommended for proper handling. Select the appropriate description of your type of flight. S for scheduled air service. N for non-scheduled air transport. G for general aviation. M for military. D for DVFR and X for other flight types. Note if an X flight type is used, a reason for special handling must be listed in the other information field. This will be covered later. Number of aircraft. This field will always default to one, however may be changed if required. Aircraft type. Aircraft type should be formatted as one letter followed by one to three alphanumeric characters. To ensure your aircraft type is entered correctly, select the search dialog to the right of the field and a window will open to perform an aircraft type search. Aircraft may be searched by their manufacturer, model, or aircraft type designator. Should your aircraft type not be found or you are unsure of what to enter, place ZZZZ into the field 
and explained further in the other information field prefaced with TYP slant. Wake turbulence. Wake turbulence is designed to auto-populate with the correct wake turbulence category for your aircraft. However, should you need to enter it manually, follow these guidelines which are based off maximum certificated takeoff weight. Heavy, or H, is 300,000 pounds or more. Medium, or M, is between 15,500 and 299,999 pounds. And light, it, or L, is anything below 15,500 pounds. Aircraft equipment. Aircraft equipment is one of the more detailed and error-prone fields on the AKL flight plan form. This field requires accurate entry of all radio, navigation, and approach equipment on board the aircraft. Unlike the domestic flight plan form, ICAO equipment is listed individually, and it is not uncommon to have four, five, or more entries. Much of this information will be supplied by your equipment's manufacturer. An inaccurate entry in this field can create errors in the flight plan or unexpected routing changes for your flight. On screen is the aircraft equipment helper dialog that can be found by selecting the search dialog box to the right of the field. The following are general guidelines to consider when filing. An equipment entry of N essentially establishes what X would do for domestic. It tells ATC that your aircraft is equipped with no radios or nav equipment. An equipment entry of S establishes the standard set of equipment of VOR receiver, VHF radio telephone, and an ILS receiver. When selecting S, this will deactivate the selections for the individual options below of O for VOR receiver, V for VHF radio telephone, and L for ILS receiver. If equipped with DME, this must be entered as D. This is not encompassed by other equipment entries. If equipped with GPS or GNSS, an entry of G is required. Note that ILS is an entry of L, where an entry of I is for inertial navigation systems. Similarly, VOR requires an entry of O. Equipment R is required for RNAV performance-based navigation. An entry of R in the equipment field will require further data entry into the other information field. The flight plan form will auto-populate PBN into the other information field as a placeholder for PBN values to be entered. An entry of Z for other will also require further data entry into the other information field generally prefixed by nav, com, or dat. Surveillance equipment. Like aircraft equipment, surveillance equipment differs from the domestic flight plan form. This field is only for transponder and or ADSB equipment entries. A search dialog help box is located to the right of the field to assist in populating the correct data. The dialog window will not allow non-compatible entries to be made. Further, if your ADSB equipment, typically UAT technology, requires a surveillance entry, this will be placed in the other information field prefaced by SUR slant. Your specific ADSB information will also be supplied by your equipment's manufacturer. Departure, destination, and alternates may be entered to their respective fields, and they all contain the same requirements. ICAO format requires that four alphabetic characters be used. However, FAA-mandated ICAO changes now allow for the entry of any 2 to 11 alphanumeric identifier to be placed into the departure, destination, or alternate fields. Acceptable entries are airports, nav aids, waypoints, fixed radial distance, or latitude-longitude entries. If the flight plan needs to be sent to ATC, our system automatically formats the flight plan in accordance with ICAO standards without pilot intervention. Also located in these fields are buttons for additional airport information or for an area briefing for an area 25 nautical miles around that location. Departure date and time. These fields do not differ from the domestic flight plan mask. Careful notice should be taken so that the proper time and time zones are filled. The Evaluate button is covered in detail in the tutorial video titled Advanced Flight Planning Tools. This button allows for the determination of a favorable departure time based on weather forecasted for your route. Cruising Speed. This field differs from the flight plan mask and can be prone to errors. This field accepts speeds in two formats, knots, entered as N or November, then four digits, and Mach, entered as M or Mike, and then three digits. Level. Level is the ICAO equivalent to altitude in the domestic flight plan, and the initial planned altitude should be entered. Entries in this field include altitude, entered as an A or alpha, followed by three digits. This is for altitudes below 18,000 feet 
and entered in hundreds of feet, such as Alpha 095 for 9,500, or Alpha 115 for 11,500. Flight level, entered as an F followed by three digits. This is for flights at or above 18,000 feet, and entered in hundreds of feet, such as F240 for flight level 240 or 24,000 feet. Meters, entered as an M followed by four digits. VFR may be entered to indicate varying VFR altitudes. No digits are needed. VFR slant and three digits may be entered as an SFRA filing altitude, as well as an indication of VFR on top. This entry is made as VFR followed by three digits for the intended VFR altitude. The optimized button is covered in detail in the tutorial video titled Advanced Flight Planning Tools. This button allows for quick evaluation of winds aloft and its effect on your planned fuel and time en route. Route of Flight File a route of flight using a combination of published routes, latitude, longitude, and or fixes. Consecutive fixes, lat long points, nav aids, and waypoints should be separated by the characters DCT, meaning direct. A published route should be preceded by a fix that is published on the route, indicating where the route will be joined. The published route should be followed by a fix that is published as part of the route, indicating where the route will be exited. No entry of direct shall be reused before a SID or after a star. Using the route of flight in this video, this can be explained. In the case of this route, after departure from Seattle, the route goes direct to the Seattle Vortac, then joins an airway, J-12. The J-12 airway is flown to the Nave de Freda. Notice that no direct is needed between Seattle, J-12, and Efreda. The route then proceeds along a route across multiple vortex to the waypoint SICBO. In this case, direct is required between each vortex. Once at SICBO, the route joins RNAV route Q140 to the waypoint APA. Again, no direct is needed. After this point, the route nears destination after passing several waypoints with direct between each and nears the star transition point of Poncht and then along the JFUND1 star into Boston. As the star, its transition point, and the destination are grouped into the procedure, no direct is required. The route of flight field will accept entries between 0 and 558 characters. ICAO round robin flight plans must contain a route element for IFR flights. Note, users may file DC, SFRA, or Special Flight Rules flight plans in Pilot Web as a VFR flight plan filed with IFR flight rules and a VFR altitude. However, Pilot Web does not allow users to file, amend, or activate flight plans intersecting the DC Flight Restricted Zone, or FRZ. These must be called in to Flydos Flight Service. The Map button allows for a quick glance view and check of your route of flight. The Plan button is covered in detail in the tutorial video titled Advanced Flight Planning Tools. This button allows for quick planning of routes based on ATC, assigned routing, or favorable VFR routes between your departure and destination. Other information. This field can be considered the catch-all for the ICAO flight plan. Any information or data that needs further clarification or supporting details should be entered into this field. As mentioned previously for other fields, the other information field is the location for data such as PBN values, prefaced with a PBN slant. Also, detailed aircraft type, departure, destination, or alternate locations should be entered here if ZZZZ was used in the respective fields prefaced by their proper identifier. The search dialog located to the right of the field will display all prefixes for data that may be entered. Like the domestic flight plan, plain language remarks are entered here prefaced with RMK slant. The other information field is highly automated, meaning many of the required prefixes will pre-populate here based on information already entered into the flight plan. In this case, you need to just enter the required details. Regardless of the order of how subfields or prefixes are entered, once finished and the cursor is out of the field, it will reorder the elements to be in compliance with ICAO requirements. Note, for international flight plans, those departing the U.S. and destined to a non-U.S. location, it is required that EET, or estimated elapsed time, be entered. This is a time it will take in hours and minutes for the flight to reach the next and subsequent FIR, or Flight Information Region, boundary or significant point when referenced from the departure time. 
this time should be entered as EET slant CZYZ0220, meaning EET to the Toronto FIR boundary is 2 hours 20 minutes after departure time. Total estimated elapsed time, total time en route, entered as 4 digits. Fuel endurance, or fuel on board, entered as 4 digits. Persons on board. This field must be entered as follows. A 1 to 30 alphanumeric entry with spaces or backslashes allowed, or as TBN for to be notified, if the number of persons on board is not known at the time of filing. Aircraft color and markings. Like persons on board, it must be entered as follows. For U.S. flights, 0 to 500 alphanumeric space and colon are allowed. Emergency radios. This is not a required field, however, may be used to note any emergency radios or transmitters which are on board. U for UHF denotes 243 MHz. V for VHF denotes 121.5 MHz. E for ELBA denotes an emergency locator beacon aircraft, or an ELT. Survival equipment. This field is also not required, however, may be used to note any categories of survival equipment on board. Jackets. Also an optional field, this entry will give details of the types of life jackets carried on board. Light denotes jackets equipped with lights. Fluorescent are jackets equipped with fluorescein. UHF and VHF denotes the types of radio capability for each jacket. Dinghies, an optional field where the amount, capacity of each, their color, and whether or not they are covered is noted. Note, even though the previous four entries of survival equipment are noted as optional, it is highly recommended they be included in each flight plan if on board the aircraft. Supplemental Remarks. This is a location for all other plain language remarks, up to 500 characters, and a colon, regarding emergency equipment. Pilot in Command. Pilot in Command may be entered here, however, this information is also stored in the pilot contact information populated from your pilot web profile, and retained with the flight plan's history. This field allows 0 to 201 alphanumeric characters and a colon. Filing ICAO flight plans will take practice. ICAO flight plans tend to be more detailed and in some cases additional information is required for operation. The Pilot Web ICAO flight plan form ensures ICAO flight plan entry is accurate and complete, confirming acceptance throughout the ATC system. An accurate ICAO flight plan gives ATC the most ideal picture of the routes, altitudes, and procedures you and your aircraft are equipped for. Should your flight plan have errors when attempting to file or get a pre-flight briefing, they will be noted by a pop-up window outlining each error, as well as an error text displayed below each box needing attention. As a reminder, favorite flight plans may be saved from the ICAO flight plan form for use at a future date. Also, ICAO formatted equipment codes and airspeeds may also be saved to your aircraft in your profile, which allows them to be auto-populated for future use. Should you need further assistance with ICAO flight plan filing, please visit our user guide by hovering over Help in the menu bar and selecting User Guide. If more detailed assistance is needed, please reach out to our technical support staff through the Contact Us link at the bottom of the page so your request may be handled at the appropriate level of assistance. Thank you for using the Lidos Pilot Web.